Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XRP and it's Saturday right now and I'm making my videos before I go and watch UFC 300. You all know how much I love UFC. And at the time I'm making this video, we fell below 50 cents. A much deeper pullback is happening right now on XRP. But you're all prepared for this. We talked about this happening multiple times. This was always a possibility. And we are going to make it through it together. And then we're going to watch the real excitement begin. Because at the other end of these dips is when we start to take off. And everybody knows it's coming. Warning, don't sell your Bitcoin to BlackRock. And that's what's going on with Bitcoin. As people are selling it, BlackRock is buying it up at cheaper prices. And it's not just Bitcoin, it's other cryptos as well. Crypto retail investors complaining about price drops, but institutions are accumulating. Follow the money. And you know, whenever there's blood in the streets, that's when you want to be buying crypto. You don't want to be buying the top of a green candle. You don't want to be buying halfway up a green candle. You want to be buying when everyone else is panicking. And that's what's going on right now. And I don't know what's going on in the XRP community, but what I really noticed is that we now have groups of people. It's like high school all over again. There's clicks, and you have people that follow the hype. There's people that meet in the middle. They follow the hype. They also follow the facts, and then there's people that just follow the facts. And, you know, it's every once in a while, people do need hype to keep them going, and I understand that. There's nothing wrong with that. But the hype is getting out of hand. I mean, I see people saying the second we get an XRP ETF, the price is going over $100. That's not going to happen. And that's why I made yesterday's video. And I'm one of those people that if I see something, I have to talk about it. In other words, if it looks like bullshit, I'm going to call it out. I don't care. And a lot of people get upset over that. But I'd rather give you the facts than give you the nonsense. Expert says it looks like Ripple and SEC have reached a settlement. Settlement done? So Ashley Prosper made this known in a recent X post. I can't say that Ripple and the SEC have reached a settlement, but I can say it looks that way. And all of a sudden, in all of these articles, everybody's now an expert. They're not. They're just retail investors like me and you. And all he did was give an opinion. He doesn't know if a settlement's going to be reached on Monday. Nobody does. That's why I always say, don't get all hyped up over something. Don't get your hopes up and let's see what happens. Because this way, you're not left with any disappointment. It helps you stay stronger in crypto. Ripple is highly valued in the industry. Another great moment when PayPal's Dan Schulman points out that Brad Garlinghouse is the best dressed person in the entire room. Take a listen to this. On a roller coaster, when you hear Dan. Brad is the best dressed in the entire room right now, so I just <laughs> point that out. I like, the, it, I like by the way, you're in San Francisco and you've kept it formal. Well, when you're the small company and you're on stage with the big company, he can wear cowboy boots. I'm going to wear, you know, I, I, I'm, we're, we're selling to banks. We're uh, trying to impress the banks. But I thought, you know, the banks are supposed to be, you know, attracting you guys, right? Well, it's funny, actually, it is a small digression, but sometimes we have meetings with senior people at banks and they'll be meeting, coming to our office and so they'll dress down. They're coming to our office, so we dress right. up and we just miss each other. And uh, <laughs> So are they the ones wearing Patagonia vests yeah, and all the vests. sneakers exactly. and you're the one in suits? So. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> So when Brad starts dressing down, you know we made it. And I like the idea of that because Brad always looks like he's dressed for success. And this is an older video, but you know, now I think the banks are starting to come to Ripple because they're starting to realize that Ripple has the best technology out there 
for moving money. And that's what's going to make us rich. A 30-second lesson on the scope, scale, vision, mission, and value that Ripple is bringing to the world. Goodbye, debt slavery system. Hello, sound money sovereignty. Welcome to our new world. And this is also an older video, but it's one of the greatest videos out there. Take a listen. What is Interledger's total addressable market size? all the money <laughs> nobody wanted to nobody wanted to feed it um yeah it's all the money because what we're really talking about with this idea of the internet of value is creating a single global payment network that connects literally everyone and i remember when going after all the money was just a term not so long ago Today, you could see Ripple going after all the money. Ripple's starting to look, look more like a bank every single day. And all those payment rails that are getting set up all around the world for XRP to run on. You know the end game here. It's us getting rich off of our XRP. But you know, I pointed out multiple times, even all throughout last year, I kept saying, look at the directions Ripple's going in now. They're going after all the money. Custody, tokenization, carbon credits, cross-border payments, working with the big central banks of the world, going after all the money. Bam, central banks are partnering with XRP to facilitate seamless cross-border CBDC transactions, the future of currency. And you know, as we see the big central banks of the world, and we see these big government institutions like the IMF, the BIS, countries, governments talking about going with the digital euro, going with the digital dollar, going with the digital pound, and ripples at the heart of all of this, and even inside the BRICS and Fed now, it's all coming together perfectly. That's what I'm talking about when I say that. So, PCBB, Fed now, ISO 222 to be implemented all at once, March 10th, 2025, older article from August 10th, 2022. And this is still on track now for 2025. And people are always saying, well, now look at it. It's going to take until 2025 until XRP moves in price. That's not what this says at all. Because other countries are going to go live before the Fed goes live. 2024 is the second wave. And they're not going to wait around for the Fed. These, these banks, they're ready to go today. Look at what's going on with the digital euro alone. They are fast tracking because BRICS is speeding up the timeline. And I think Fed, the Fed could possibly actually go live before March of 2025. I think it's going to happen sooner, most likely by the end of this year. But, you know, like anything, I'm speculating a little bit on that. But if you see what's going on, the real world events that are taking place right now, everything's moving quicker. And where did this all start? Well, it all started with the World Economic Forum, all mentioned by the World Economic Forum. All may or may not be important in the new world we go into. I guess we'll find out. And these were always the cryptocurrencies that were mentioned by the World Economic Forum. Since then, they added a few, like Hedera, HBAR, they also talk about Nexera now as well. And I see Nexera becoming huge in the future. Also, Quant isn't here. It is now. But while we were all busy with the pandemic, this is what they were planning in the background. This is from June of 2021. And from then until now, everything got fast-tracked. I mean, at a speed that I wasn't even envisioning early on. I mean, back in 2022 and 2021, I was thinking more on the lines that we would probably see this happen around 2030, but not anymore. Not after 2022. The day that Russia announced the CBDC, I knew that was it. 
everything is going to start to be put in motion and it's going to happen a lot faster it is a misconception that iso 222 implementation will be in 2025 to 2026 the truth is these banks are upgrading adopting digital technology now the transformation of the banking sector is happening today basel 3 iso largest plumbing upgrade in history this comes from smoke and watch what they do not what they say take a listen to this right here uh, this here is exactly why we watch what they do and not what they say the media narrative might have you believe that the world's financial institutions are hesitant or sitting on the sidelines with regards to blockchain and digital finance but in fact if you go down this list you'll see the largest asset managers in europe asia and north america are already live and have live products and service offerings in many of the key areas of digital finance and one good example of the sort of mismatched public narrative uh, is the ceo of jp morgan who has publicly disavowed blockchain and digitalization of finance a few times but at the same time his own organization which we can see here is one of the most advanced in terms of offering the same products and services to its own customers so it's it's a bit of a mixed bag in the, in the public media narrative which is why we watch what they do not what they say and that's what's going on even the united states right now they're acting like they absolutely hate crypto we're never going to get a cbdc but in the background, they're working on a digital dollar. And at the same time, they're also implementing crypto. So people realized what they see is these big headline announcements on how JP Morgan thinks that they should just kill off Bitcoin. They see the announcements from BlackRock where Bitcoin is nothing but a pet rock. But then all of a sudden we see BlackRock start a Bitcoin ETF. And we see JP Morgan working with blockchain companies, also positioning JP Morgan inside of crypto. Jamie Dimon is always the one out there, though, making the big headlines. You got to see what's really going on. And if you follow the timeline and you follow the narrative that you have until 2025 to get invested, you will be too late. And that's what I always tried to tell you on this channel. You know, it's better to be holding than sitting on the sidelines waiting for cheaper prices because those cheaper prices may never come. I mean, right now we're in the middle of a dip today once again, and we don't even know how cheap XRP could become. But, you know, we could fall below 40 cents. But that doesn't mean it's time to sell your XRP. It's not the time to follow the narrative that XRP is going to zero because you're going to have the people fighting all over this all day long on X. And you got to ignore the noise. Know what you know. Know what you're holding. And get ready for the greatest run-up we have ever seen as XRP holders. Because I think that's what's going to follow this massive dip that we're in right now. And you got to think like the institutions. Always buy when there's blood in the streets. But until it all happens, stay patient, stay positive, and let's get rich together. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.